My first guest ever. On my, I don't even have a name for my podcast, Jeff. <laughs> the, only, the only name I wanted was Antoine McKay. To be my <laughs> Antoine has been Bunky Williams on Empire. He has been, I'm looking at your credits here, Gregory Gordon and Patriot, another great role. Yeah, and yeah. one of the funniest shows I told you, I think, I, I, as soon as I saw it, I loved it. I told you, I binged it. Yeah. Was, Uncle Spike on uh, Southside. Yeah. On I'm in the uncle stage of my career right now. <laughs> well, so. You're not at the, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm approaching the grandfather uh, stage. <laughs> right. Slowly but surely. But thanks for coming on. I know I appreciate it. No, man, I'm glad to be here. Glad to, anytime, doctor, anytime. What, what have you been up to? What are you doing? Uh, you know, man, uh, it's been really interesting. I um, just got, um, uh, just started working with a company and, uh, uh, I had written uh, a few shows and uh, a couple of movies and uh, we got some good feedback on a show that actually Michelle and I wrote um, and they really want to develop it and like go through it and uh, work on that and uh, we have another show that we wrote um, that we are um, just and we're shopping it right now so it's a TV really, show? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, yeah. Uh, one is kind of a reality-ish kind of, not necessarily reality, but it, it you know, it's, I, I can't really talk about it, but it's, but it's, it's a lot okay. of fun. And it's um, working with some of our old friends, like going around just different places. And, you know, it, it, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. So I, I know you're from Michigan, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know, I mean, we worked together at Second City, but I don't know much about even like where you grew up and any of your childhood stuff. No, I mean, I grew up in Inkster, Michigan, which is about 20 minutes west of Detroit. Um, you know, I, I, I was bred to play football at the University of Michigan. <laughs> That's what was going on. You know, my dad was my football coach and, um, you know, we were, we were just a big Michigan football family uh, fans. Um, and, you know, I got hurt and... I got hurt when I was in ninth grade and I was I jacked my knee up and, you know, medicine back then was not, you know, you, you pull, you stretch ligaments in your knee. Now you're back next Sunday. If you want, right, right, right. You know, back then they put a cast on your leg from Did they put a cast on your leg? ankle. Yeah, man. So I, that was it for the next season. And then pretty much for any other sport. So I was like, you know what? I'll try this acting thing. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you know? And my brother, um, who was really what kind of started me really acting. He was, uh, he went to a school that's closed now, St. Thomas Aquinas in uh, Southgate. And he was um, uh, in Oklahoma. Mm. And he just tore it up and standing ovation. And I was like, I want to do this. So this yeah. is seems like fun. But then, you know, you start doing it and it's, um, uh, you, you see the outside, obviously, all the glamour and the glitz and the glory, but, uh, really throwing yourself into the craft is. Uh, uh, what, what, how old were you? Uh, I was when I got when I started to really love acting, and it was just what I was about fifteen. When really like oh man, I really like this. This feels really good on me, you know. Yeah, but then I did the uh, speech, uh, which is like the forensics and uh, competitive right. interpretation of literature when. Um, then, uh, and actually me and Michelle were on the same team. We won the state championship our senior year. Really? Which got me a scholarship to Eastern. And that's where I competed in speech there, you know, studied theater uh, as a national champion my senior year at Eastern. So. I'm never it, this. Yeah, yeah, man. And it just kept kind of evolving from there. Then it was like working with Uda and then gotten hired at second city and then All right, so let's go back a second so so yeah. you can't just you can't just throw that in <laughs> and i worked with uda <laughs> <laughs> right right uh so that that was during college you you started working with uda hagen it was after it was after yeah because i did one for flybys um, right, me, too. me too and then um that's at wayne state at the time i think right 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 yeah. um oh that's where michelle went um uh, um and then my brother was acting in New York and he was like, Hey, HB studios is the place to be, man. And I was like, all right, well, he's like, I got you. And my brother got, he's like, I bought you these classes. So, uh, but you got audition to get in. So, <laughs> you know, 
So I went, auditioned, and got got in, man. And then it was... You went to New York? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I lived I in Florida for like a year, dude. <laughs> yeah, I lived in Queens for like a year. <laughs> what year was that? That was on um, 93, 94. Wow, that's when, okay, so that's when I came to Second City. Yeah, yeah. no, okay. it was 94, 95-ish. Yeah, because yeah. I came to Second City, it was April 15th, 1994. Mm -hmm. So, that, okay, so now you finish that, you come home. I come home, and I wait a substantial amount of tables. Uh, <laughs> um, but then- um, Did you I work in New York? Did you, did you do any, any acting in New York at all? No, just, no, because it was just all study with her. It was like super intensive, wow. really crazy. Uh, but then um, I got back, you know, did, you know, waited a bunch of tables, did a couple plays in Detroit. Actually, my first play back, because I did a movie prior to that, like it was just like an indie film, was when we did 12 Angry Men together. You directed that show and I was in that. Wow. And then right after that, I got hired in a touring company. Uh, so- you were, taking, you were taking classes though at Second City, Yeah, right? I was, so yes. I, I took the first two levels. And then I got hired in a touring company. And I remember Rico Bruce Wade coming up to me and going, you can't take classes anymore. <laughs> you gotta just do it. I'm like, oh, oh, okay, cool. Really? <laughs> oh! Yeah. <laughs> You're looking for the ripcord, it's like, oh. Oh, right. <laughs> who was your uh, first? Uh, who were your teachers there at first? Um, you. Yeah, I had you for both levels. You did. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, oh, that's right. Because then, remember, cause then I remember. Because then you yeah. got into Torco, right? Yeah. Who was was I directing Torco at that time or not yet? You, uh, Rico was directing Torco. Rico, right? Initially, and then he got the producer job, and then right. they hired you and Kathy. So oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So how many shows did you do at Second City? Gosh. In uh, Detroit. Let's start with Detroit, if that's okay. Detroit. Uh, I was at Detroit from my first main stage show in Detroit was January 4th, 1999. And that was the Make-A-Wish show that, you know, like Minor and Raj yeah. and yeah. everybody showed up to. What a great night that was. Yeah. Then uh, I was understudying Keegan at the time. And Keegan was auditioning for Mad TV earlier on. So he was gone to LA for a week. Right. Then there was a, a something, uh, an unfortunate tragedy in his family shortly after he got back. And so I was on main stage for two weeks. Straight. I remember that, yeah. And, um, and after that, um, I, Rico called me in the office and said, hey, we're about to start a new process. And come on, here we go. So before Second City, right? Mm -hmm. Before taking any classes there, any improv experience at all? None. The, okay, I always tell people that the day I auditioned for Second City, both the, the initial audition and the callback, I was like, Jesus auditioned for me because there's no way. <laughs> I remember your, I, I auditioned you. I, I was one of the right. people I auditioned you, I remember. And the first, the first audition, we just read scripts and so, <laughs> right. I, I was, you know, classically trained. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll get back like this and do this. Yeah. Get the call back and it's all improv. Improv, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, what? So I get out there and I remember the first scene I did was with Jeff Fritz. And me and Fritzy just were just rolling with it. And then, you know, had a good set, did that. Um, and uh, next thing you know, I, I get hired. And then I go to re I go to my first tour call rehearsal and I improvise with everybody and they're like, "How did he get in here? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's really bad." That, that's um, a yeah. So he, let me. Here's the question. So now, you, so we jump where you now you get hired for the new process, right? Mm -hmm. But you never you've never done the process, right? No, no, and, not at all. Explain the process if you can a little bit how it works. And I want to know how that was for you to, to write your first show. Uh, it was crazy. Um, you know, I was actually, I was waiting tables in the theater too. That's when right. I was a touring company. Right. And um, uh, it, it was crazy, man. I get, I get on main stage and, you know, we take over for, um, gosh, Larry Campbell and Eric Black. Right. Me and Rosetta. Um, right. 
uh, Mark Rosaka. And it's so funny. Our first night on stage, uh, they, you know, they do the 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 fire call, and they're like, uh, "Due to an arrangement with the Actors' Equity Association, uh, cameras, cell phones, laser pointers are not are not um, allowed." Uh, also, tonight's roles, normally played by Larry Campbell, will be played by Mark Rosaka. And the roles played by Eric Black will be played by Anton McKay. And you hear somebody in the audience go, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that, that, that's a confidence builder. <laughs> oh, dude, it was hilarious. But um, right <laughs> the first show was really awesome because we had one of the gurus, Gelman. Gelman came in. Michael Gelman, and, yeah, and, he came in from Toronto, you know, yeah, to, yeah, uh, from Chicago. He was in Chicago. 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 You know, he understood. He understudied Bill Murray, and yeah, him and Del Close are really uh, good friends, and they wrote a ton of stuff and directed. So Michael was really, really, um, I don't know, um, pivotal in like my foundation of like what smart writing is about. Right. So that mm-hmm. was that was a huge, huge thing. So, so yeah. you guys were rehearsing and writing during the day, then performing mm-hmm. the old show at night. People don't yeah, realize. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, once you're doing the process, then you start to replace old pieces from the show with new pieces until you have a show. And we, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Did you ever feel um, that you wanted to, to leave Detroit at any time and, and try Second City Chicago or Toronto or anything? No. I went there and we done a couple of workshops and I played the set and it was really nice, but you know, I loved Detroit. I love yeah. Detroit. You know, I'm a Detroit kid. So yeah. it's so much. I remember though, it was, we were doing the show. It was 2003, August. And, uh, um, and then uh, I'm teaching a class and I'm down there and I'm like, you know what? Everybody's going to, everybody leaves Detroit. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay in Detroit and I'm going to act and I'm going to show people that Detroit is really worth it. Uh, Kelly Leonard's on the phone. He wants to talk to you. <laughs> I was like, I'll be right back. Hello? Uh, yeah. I go back to class. I'm like, um, I'm leaving for Chicago. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> dude, dude, it happened totally like that. It was crazy. It was crazy. At that time, did um, was Larry on according to Jim at this point? Do you know? Um, he was on... The Trouble with Normal at that time with John okay. Fryer, um, when they had that first thing. But then, I think that was a Fox show, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So then, but they, you know, you know, Brucey loved Larry so much, you know, that they yeah. just and they were trying too. to find a spot for him, you know. So yeah. But then yeah. he hit according to Jim and just took off, man, you know. So you go to Chicago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and I go how- from Detroit main stage to Chicago main stage. So. Yeah. How is that? That's totally different, I'm sure, yeah. I mean, it's in some ways. Yeah. And, you know, I think the time that we were at Second City together was a very, very special time because very special. there was Margaret Evertowski, there yeah. was Nancy Hayden, there was um, Keegan, Josh Funk, Nina, Josh Funk yeah. Mark Evan Jackson. Like, all yeah. these people are, are, have either written for TV shows or on TV shows. Oh, they're all working, yeah. Yeah, uh, Mary Beth Monroe. Oh, Mary you know, Beth, dude, yeah. Dude, we were, we were loaded. So... The work, it, the work we did in 10 know? years there, I'm sorry. The, I was going to say, the work we did in 10 years there, I'm so proud of every, everyone and everything we accomplished. Yeah, because I mean, like, now you look at it, and all of us are on TV shows now. Right, yeah. And, and it's, really, it's really crazy, man. It's really yeah. crazy. Yeah, so, so tell me how did how so what was the experience like then going from Detroit to Chicago to live? You had to live there now, and it's a whole different. You don't know the city, and, and how was that? People, uh, but you know what was cool is Keegan was already there, and Keegan Michael so, Key was already there. yeah, Keegan Michael Key was already there, and so I go there to look for an apartment. We for real walk about three apartments away from where he lived. We go to look at this apartment. I signed the lease on the spot. This person was like, you look like a nice guy. You know what? I'm going to give you the keys. Here you go. Sign the lease. And I was like, oh, here, here. Thank you. And yeah. I was like, all right, you move in whenever you want. I'm like, okay, thanks. First apartment I looked at, I got. Uh, and then wow. I started rehearsals because I was going in for David Pompey because he was, Pompey was leaving. And um, yeah, my first night on main stage was um, August 23rd, 2003. And how many shows did you do there? I did. So if you count what I came in on, um, 
uh, one, then we did Doors Open on the right, then we did uh, Red Scare. Right. And then um, um, Iractile Dysfunction. So I did four there, but in Detroit, we had a really crazy thing. We right. let eight weeks on, eight weeks you go back into the process and start writing. You run it for eight weeks, you start writing another show of eight weeks. And I think that's why it was such a, I wasn't terrified to move on to Chicago because I had written so much. Right, you had chops. Yeah, because yeah, in Detroit, you know, it's not a, it wasn't a tourist town. So we had to turn the show over all the time just right. to keep people interested. So, yeah. It says so much about you as a performer that Kelly Leonard, you know, who's, who's the executive producer, I believe, right, right, the executive producer. President, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at Second City was uh, well, called you with all the talent that they had in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did that feel? Dude, I, I look back on it and I go, they had to be drunk, man, or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, because, I mean, you think about who was there, like John Lutz was there at this time. Gordon Peele was there at yeah. the time. Um, you know, just loaded, loaded. Did you work loaded. with Jordan at all? Yeah, you know, I improvised with Jordan, and you know, when I um, when I was doing review on Comedy Central, and I would go out to L.A. and I would stay with Keegan, and you know, they would bring me to set, and I'd see him there and kick it with him, you know. But they, yeah, so I, I knew Jordan. Yeah, I know Jordan. Yes. So you had Second City Chicago for how long? I was at Second City Chicago from um, August twenty third, two thousand three, to. April 26th, 2006. Um, yes, 2006, because on the 28th, my daughter was born. <laughs> I, left, I left two days before my daughter was born. She was born, and then I started a show on NBC the next day. Yeah. What show was that? Uh, Sports Action Team. Yeah. That was my first, like, series regular. Um, on for, it was on NBC, yeah. We, had, we did two seasons. It was late night. I was, you know, but it was in prime time in LA, but late night Midwest. Okay. And, uh, All right. That's the scene. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it was fun. So is that, is that why you left Chicago? Because you got this gig? No, it was shot here. And that's the thing, man. Um, all the TV shows that I've been so blessed to do um, have shot here. Or, Where, it, or you know, review shot in LA. So I would go out there, right. but everything else has shot here. What, you're in Chicago? Yeah, like yeah. Prison Break shot here, Empire shot here. That's crazy. Uh, Southside shoots here. Um, what else? Patriot shot here. Um, that took you all over the world, though. And then, but then that took me to Paris, so that was that was awesome. Well, we're gonna get uh, there too. Wow. Yeah, man. So yeah, so that was that's. I've been really blessed with that. So you so you get this TV show two years. Mm -hmm. Are you writing? You're, you're still improvising, though. Probably. We're improvising, sort of writing it, but mostly improvising. And uh, the head writers were uh, Kevin Fleming and Al uh, Samuels. Okay. So they did a lot of the heavy lifting, but they would just kind of set it up and say, start here, we got to end here, let's go. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. We got to improvise with a lot of athletes and – Oh, you know, really? Cool, yeah. Oh, man. So at this time, do you are you improvising at night, like at clubs or going to Second no, City? No, I'm just doing that, man. I'm just doing yeah. that. I'm doing corporate theater here and there, you know? For Second City. Yeah, yeah. What was your favorite Second City show? Uh, gosh. I put In you on the Detroit, spot. 19th Nervous Breakdown. That was great. I won the Detroit Free Press Award for Best for the Actor for that. And yeah. then Red Scare, and I was nominated for uh, Joseph Jefferson Award for that. Wow. wow. Yeah. And um, so, okay, so we, the TV show ends. Yeah. So what do we, what do we, where do, how do we, uh, what's Oh, our man, it was, then it was just kind of a, it was kind of a weird thing because I was doing Prison Break while I was That's right. on the that, stage. That was in Michigan, right? Uh, Prison Break shot here, too. Shot here, too. You yeah. did something in Michigan. Oh, you did uh, Detroit 187. 187, Michael. Yeah. 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 Um, and then um, after that, I just, uh, um, I the TV show finishes, you know, you're doing your thing, you're trying to find your balance. And yeah. I went back to waiting tables again and, you That's know, doing, started the improv a little bit. And then I started to like host improv nights at this place called pressure billiards here in chicago and okay. 
then that kind of gave me the taste in my mouth that I wanted to own, open my own space and do that. So mm -hmm. that kind of was a dream. And then, uh, then review happened, which was really great. And I got, that's on Comedy Central. And um, in that time, I was a pastor at a church, <laughs> you know, for a little while. And really? um, yeah. Um, and then uh, after that, I um, got review. Then review led to a couple, and I, I was booking some commercials. Commercial work was really great. Actor, yeah. Um, and then um, 2013 was, was when my mom got ill. And then, you know, so I couldn't really commit to doing anything. And I kind right. of fell off, the, like things kind of fell off. But then um, my agent at the time called me and said, hey, we got this audition for you for this show. Um, it's called Empire. <laughs> and I was like, all right. I didn't, I didn't, dude, I really was not going to go to the audition. Really? And um, my mom was like, go, go to the audition. I'm like, yeah. all right. So I go, I walk in, and lo and behold, Lee Daniels is sitting in the room. And I'm like, oh, look, hi, man. hi, Mr. Daniels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but what was cool is um, we started talking about uh, Mr. Fofo's, which is a uh, – corned beef place in yeah. Detroit because he had just been in Detroit and it was funny. Yeah. We connected there and um, then uh, I I don't know, man. It was so crazy because my agent called and said they like you, uh, but Fox is kind of not sure and Lee went to bat for me, man. He was like, wow. he was like, I, I need him to make this. Wow. And we shot, dude, yeah, right? Like you. That's, I know. I'm like, again, yeah, these people are drunk. Um, <laughs> but um, it's so stressful going to network. Yeah, dude, it is. Because when I book yeah. low, when I book Low Winter Sun, my agent called me. This is like, mm -hmm. like my fourth, fourth friggin' audition. Right. And uh, he's like, "You got it." I was like, "Oh, great, great, great." He called me back ten minutes later. He goes, "You didn't get it yet. There's one executive in LA has to watch it yet. There's five of them. Four of them they love you." He goes, "I'll call you in an hour." Two days later, <laughs> right? <laughs> two days later, and a couple of bottles of whiskey. Uh, uh -huh. As soon as that happened, I'm like, pour me a drink. <laughs> right, it's, right, right. It's so you're such a high. You know, the kids were going crazy. Oh, he booked the show, and then all of a sudden, ten minutes later, you're not on yet. But I'll call you yeah. back in an hour, and that and those two mm -hmm. days, those two days felt like ten years, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's the, it's the same thing happened with um, um. Well, Uncle Spike, you know, it's like Comedy Central. But, but the Comedy Central had known me from review, so that was that was a little easier. Right. Yeah, they, they, it, you know, Amazon, brand new thing. Yeah. You know, they want to make sure that it's good. And you know, you saw the people I was on that show with. Man, these guys were these guys were these guys were hitters, man. How did that show come about for you? Um, I they just called me and they auditioned me for Gregory, and I I went there, auditioned at uh, PR PR. And Pasco Rednicki, uh, and Rachel Tenner in L.A. Yeah. Um, uh, dude, they have they have changed my career, man. They have been so wonderful and just really super cool and supportive, and That's like great. they want you to get the job, so they help you. They coach. But what, what I love about them is that they coach well when you're in the audition. Oh, like, that's they'll fantastic. Run it, they'll go. Mm, let's change this and this and this, and it's like and. It's just really cool. They're super great directors. And um, uh, yeah, I've walked out of there like, you know, whatever happens, happens. And awesome. um, then I get the call and they say, you're going to network. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> all right let's see what happens then. That's awesome. <laughs> and then, you know, yeah, eventually they said, yeah. So. And that's like, you know, where, tell everybody where you, the places you've been working. Oh, on. gosh, man. I've been acting. I've been in Argentina, uh, Puerto Rico, Canada, um, Germany, um, China, um, Paris. London, Paris. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. Like, it's taken me all over the world. And I've worked with some of the most amazing people, man. Yeah, some, who's some of your favorite people you worked with? Um, the Wachowskis were awesome, dude. When well, I, mean, I did yeah. Sense8 in Germany, yeah, they were just 
they're like actors, directors, man. Yeah, which you know, is they really care about the actor and they really want the best out of you. So they create an atmosphere that's really super great. Um, uh, everybody on Patriot, everybody on Patriot, man. Yeah. You know, cause they were just at such a high level. Um, and they're just wonderful, wonderful people. Like Kirkwood Smith is mm -hmm. the nicest guy you will ever <laughs> want to meet. Really? Um, Terry O'Quinn, Michael Chernis, um, Chris Conrad. Um, dude, I remember Deborah Winger, man. Like, it was like. How was that? Dude, it was terrifying. Like, it was terrifying. <laughs> like, I walk, in the make I walk in the makeup one morning, and there she is, mm. just sitting there. She goes, hey, Antoine, I really loved you in season one. I was like, <laughs> you know my name. You're like Jackie Gleason, hum it, hum it, hum it. <laughs> right, right. It's like, she just said my name. She like, knows you are, yeah. Isn't that something? Dude, yeah, but like that, that was cool. Um, and, you know, I went to Eastern Michigan and Jeff yeah. Daniels went to Eastern Michigan. And he, he would come back and talk to the classes and stuff. And, you know, he's got the Purple Rose in there. Yeah. And Chelsea, great theater. Um, uh, and, you know, I was like, oh, you know, Jeff used to come back and, talk to our classes. She's like, oh, Jeff, I love that guy. Like, Jeff <laughs> like, uh, is her friend, dude. It's the best. It's not it's wild. crazy, man. It's crazy, dude. But yeah, man, like that and, you know, um, it's, it, it's unbelievable to sit and think about you're like, I, you're watching people, the people you, I watched on TV growing up, you're working laughing at, at yeah. like crying with like you're sitting next to her. Yeah, it's, it's next wild. To, man. Um I did a, the other guys and we're shooting in New York. I walk in the makeup. Michael Keaton's right there, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Batman is right there. Um, he goes, Good morning, Michael. I'm like, yes, yeah, dude, I always fall apart like this whenever I get around some of these guys because you know these guys, Michael's a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's right? super and, cool. yeah. Dude, and, and like, I remember that stretch he had from like, eight, oh. from like Mr. Mom to yeah. multiplicity and clean and soap. Man, he's, man, he's one of the best, dude. He's one of the best. He really yeah. is. He's, he's a super nice guy. I met him once and he was super nice to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what's cool, too. All these cats are cool, man. Everybody's nice. I know. I know. I mean, I've been a couple of folks, <laughs> but you know, a lot of people, <laughs> but, people we can't talk about, but that you can't, right? Right. Uh, but um, I'd say 97% of the people that are up there and yeah. doing it and yeah. are like super, super cool. Like Nick Cage was super cool, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. And Gore Verbinski, you know, he's directed everything. He, right. Nicest guy, man. Like these people, like they just care about the work and and whether and that you want to do good work with them. Yeah, that's great. Like, we've both been very fortunate. We're yeah, dude. With top yeah, people yeah. Who have been like, nice. you, you were good fellows for goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, come on. It's yeah. like it's crazy. I'm telling you. Um, are you so um, do you have the theater still? No, you know I left in August uh, because. Um, <laughs> Just time. It was just time, man. It was like having another kid and- People don't realize you know, how exhausting it is. It hours. is, it, it, it's like, it is day and night. <coughs> Excuse like, me. If something goes wrong, you have to fix it. And right. it's, um, I had a great time doing it. We did great work there. Yeah, I, saw that. I, 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 I was, went to it that, that a couple of times. It was wonderful. Yeah, I mean, we, we did really good work there. But You did everything. You improvised, writing, you did plays, you did everything. Yeah, so that you was really did everything. I mean, the night I went the first time, you were behind the ticket booth. I mean, you do everything. Yeah, yeah. And because, you know, you know, I had six kids at the time, but n nobody wants to work for seven bucks an hour, apparently. <laughs> right? Nobody likes seven bucks an hour? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> you wanted to get out of the house with six of them there, so. Right, right, dude. Right, no. But it was cool, man. It was cool. What I else? Had a great time doing it. What uh, uh, sports, man? There's no sports. I you know, I caught myself the other night, and Michelle busted me the <laughs> next morning. Like, um, did you watch a Michigan game from 1983? <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, 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 I did. Um, it was a good game. It was a good game, <laughs> dude. It was so, it's so terrible. The big news now is that Korean baseball is going to start, and they're going to let them play. 
Really? Yeah, so American, uh, the American channels were all over it. I don't know when. Oh, yeah, man, dude. Dude, we are going to be rooting so hard for them. <laughs> we're going to know their stats, their names. <laughs> Trading cards. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <clears throat> um, just a couple more things, I'll let you go. Um, big Michigan fan. You're a big Michigan fan. Huge Michigan fan. I taught there. Taught there? Yeah. Port Lion fan. Huge Lions fan, yes. What is our city going to do about – they said the New York Times said we're the worst sports um, city in America. And if you look at it, we probably are. I mean, you know, all our teams are just in very rough shape. Yeah, we had the 90s, though, man. We had yeah. the 90s and the 2000s. A little yeah, bit that, like, yeah, little. Wings won a champion, couple of cups. And we were um, working at Second City at that time, that was, which is which yeah. is co-owned with the uh, Illiches. So that right, was exactly. Great. Tigers went to a couple of World Series in that yep. time. Yep. Um, uh, and then, you know, we just tragedy hit. Dun dun dun. Right, exactly. Sometimes the bottom falls out, and you got to take a seat for a bit. What do you think the Lions are going to do with the third pick? Well, gosh, um, I'm praying that they get an all world either pass rusher or a linebacker. Yeah. Uh, or um, I, I would love an awesome offensive tackle. We need so one. Matthew Stafford doesn't get killed every time. He doesn't plays. break his back again dude, for the second year. Dude, I went and saw the Lions game here when they played Chicago and Khalil, Khalil Mack's first year. I was like, Somebody needs to arrest Khalil Mack. <laughs> he tried to kill Matthew Stafford. <laughs> it was terrible, dude. I know. It was terrible I know. to watch. So I hope they they show up the offensive line uh, or get a couple linebackers, man. Uh, That's next week. Next weekend. I know, man. I know. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. I'm I'm kind of excited and worried because they're going to be like, <laughs> we're with the third pick. Um, the Lions choose. <laughs> Ted Reed, kicker from what's the matter you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. They, and they've done that before. <laughs> I mean, they just had a string there where they were picking people. I don't even know. It was terrible. <laughs> what was it? They picked four years in a row, took a wide out? Yeah, yeah, four years in a row. Oh, my God. And everybody was – when I picked Calvin Johnson, everybody was so mad. Oh, like, yeah. oh boo, boo. Oh, Oh, he's really yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, he's really good. Oh, man, I wish he would come back. I wish him and Barry would come out of retirement and play. Yeah, Barry could be 80. We want him to come back. Who do I know? He'll still Just wheel Barry him. around. Wheel him around. He'll be all right. <laughs> uh, so, what is, uh, so you guys are housebound, of course, like everybody. Yes, yes, we are. And yeah. uh, what, what do you, you think there'll be, before I forget, you think there'll be any, any college sports this year even? I don't know, man. I think, it, I think it's I, – I pray that we are very responsible about this. That's what I really pray because yeah. um, uh, I've had friends that have had it. I've had uh, people that have passed away from it here. Uh, actors who got, who are older and got sick and passed away here. Um, uh, it, it's really serious, man. It's not a joke. And um, I, I'm, I'm just praying that we're responsible about it. And even if we got to play half a season of college football and yeah. then put 12 teams in the playoff, let's do that. Like right. we can, we, we are an amazing entity. You know, we can manipulate a lot of great things with sports, you know, right. uh, it's kind of like the, like the strike year of the hot in, uh, NHL, Tampa Bay lightning, you know, all of a sudden they just got hot, man. And then they won the cup, you know? So you think yeah. baseball would start first without, uh, without any crowds? I, I, I think so. Yeah, I think you're right. Cause they're yeah. going to probably, they're going to play the shortened season. So yeah. no all-star game most likely. And then you just play it's, it's, it's a, it's a race to 80, you know, <laughs> and wow. you see, we see what happens. I wonder when our industry will, will pick up again. <laughs> um, I, I, what this is, what's cool is that people are finding creative ways. Like you've taught online, you taught a couple of classes online. Yeah. Um, um and Even this remote people creative. with fun coaching and stuff like that, and yeah. um, but it's it's it, I I think I think we're gonna bounce back. Um, 
the lovely Michelle, who is such a wise woman and talented woman, uh, said, this is a giant reset for all of us. Yep. Uh, and it's <clears throat> artists, we get the opportunity to take the time to write and create. Yeah. And that's what, you know, we've taken advantage of that. Um, um, I think you're going to see a lot of really, really beautiful art come from this. Yeah. You know, I think we, whenever we get back on track, um, it, you're going to just see people, because we're all chomping at the bit, you oh, know? Yeah. Like, I keep telling Michelle, it's like, man, I want to act. She's like, yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> And I want you to act outside of the house, please. Right, <laughs> right, right. But um, yeah. Um, but yeah, man. I think we're gonna see uh, a lot of change and a lot of things, a lot of reset and a lot of things. It's I think like, life as we knew it is is kind of over in some in some kind of you know situations. Absolutely, man. It, it just has changed everything. Yeah. You know. How are the kids? Kids are great, man. They're crazy, but they're great. You know, they get out, go for walks and stuff like that. But, um, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's been, it's been nice to be at home with them. Uh, and just, you know, just connect with them again, because, you know, prior to this, I was so busy, man. I just, know. Like, super busy going back and forth from here to Detroit. And, yep. you know, it was just really, really busy. And then, Everything just like came to a screeching halt, and yeah. we we locked it down May thirteenth. Really? And yeah, March. we locked it. Yeah, March March thirteenth. We were like, we're done. Everybody's done. Yeah. Uh, we moved in that time, but that was like a two day thing. We were like, that's it, ball game. Everybody, bye. <laughs> you know. Oh, wow. Um. So yeah, it was. Yeah, we've been. It's been. It's but it's been good, man. It's been yeah. good. Um chance to watch the shows you want to watch and yeah you catch up and then watch actors you want to watch so yeah hey, who's your favorite actor ever ever oh man hero. Come on, dude that's heavy um who's your hero um ever i'm gonna make it, i'm gonna make it a two-part question when you were a kid younger mm -hmm. 17 18 19 who was your favorite actor then and and as you're older who, who do you who do you appreciate now um, I loved Denzel Washington when I was young. Yeah, me too, man. Um, because you saw his ability to transform. And then when he did Malcolm X, it was, it was, rib it, it was breathtaking for me I'm to blowing. see somebody absolutely transform their entire being yeah. into a character. Great. It was, it just blew my mind. But, um, so I, I, I think he's a, I like him. I, I love him because he's, he's got a cowboy swagger, <clears throat> oh, to, yeah. you know, he's confident in what he can do. He knows what he can bring. And like, you know, a lot of times when you meet a lot of actors yeah. they're really kind of negative about their talent and yeah. then you see him work and it's like, you know what, that was, that was, that was pretty good. Yeah. And they're like, no, no, no. And it's that self-deprecation a lot of times that really just. When he won the Oscar, his first Oscar, and he, he walked on that stage with a swag, a swagger. I've never seen anything like it. He was just so confident. Yeah, and just like. And I was like, I've never seen that. So in control. Mm -hmm. Just a brilliant guy. I just saw Training Day again uh, around a week ago. Right, too. Man, you got to watch that. If you haven't seen that in a while, throw that up. That's just. Yeah. That's just yeah. crazy. And you know, he won for Glory, and Glory was. That's what I'm talking about. The way yeah, Glory he was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. And he I saw him off Broadway, Broadway in uh, A Soldier's Story. Oh, wow. When I was a kid and he was a kid. He was a little older than me, but. Uh huh. Yeah, we'd run wow. in some of the same circles, but back in the day. Because that was a breakout role for him in the film, you know? Yeah. 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 He he got in, yeah. Wow, man. That's such a great movie. And he got the TV series. What a sound was Saint Elsewhere was Saint Elsewhere, Saint yeah. Elsewhere, man. That was the last time he did TV, man. Yeah, he was he like, yeah. we had him this TV. close to doing Empire, had him this close, and yeah. he was just like, nah. Everybody was like, oh man, come yeah. on, G. 
So, um, yeah. yeah. And so I was like, you want me to see me on TV? I'll be getting my Oscars. That's when you mm -hmm. get it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much that's it, awesome. man. But listen, then, buddy, I, I don't want to take any more of your time. I, okay, I, cool, I, I cool. appreciate this very much. Okay, but look, I issue you this. Who's your favorite actor? Al Pacino. Pacino, man. Yeah, yeah. I got to work with him before. And, uh, yeah. Um, very small way, but I used to see him at the Strasburg Institute or at the Actors Studio. And, right, right, right. Uh, I never saw anybody go from theater to film like that. Uh huh. If he's not yeah. seriously, if he's not doing a movie, he's doing a show. Right. It's crazy, right? And he's eighty, dude. You know. And Tina and I saw him in Glen Gary, Glen Ross uh, around a couple of years ago on Broadway with Bobby Cannavale, and it was just amazing. And he was amazing in it. Wow. They yeah. and Bobby together, that's pretty good, man. He's another great actor. Dude, Bobby can get down, man. Yeah, he, like, I would love to work real. with that guy. Yeah, he's, yeah. Yeah, Bobby can get down. Like, for real, he is not afraid of anybody. What's next for you? Are you going to do some theater, you think? Or... Uh, you know what? What's next is uh, once we get the go-ahead, we start shooting Southside soon. So, oh, yeah. Dude, okay. Yeah, so that'll, that'll be mm -hmm. it. But, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I really do want to do a play. Yeah, me too. I really want to do, yeah. I, I, I miss it. I miss me it a too. lot. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Jeff and I, Fritz and I got to improvise maybe, I don't know, maybe, might have been four or five months ago. We mm -hmm. were with some, uh, some old friends of ours and they, they, they were doing teams. So they, Jeff and I were sitting together. They go, you two up for the night. So Jeff and I got to team up together. Oh, gosh, that's not even fair. <laughs> and we, you uh, guys just went up there and just went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time. We got to do around six scenes together. We had a great Oh, that's great, man. Yeah, that's it was great. awesome. It was great. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we'll pretty tomorrow. Uh, Fritzy, that's my that's my that's my guy, man. I love. Yeah, him. I, want to, I want to get him on here too. So. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Well, listen. Stay safe, brother. You do the same, man. Tell the family. Uh, I will. Love to him, man. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Definitely. Definitely. Thanks, Doc. All right. Thanks. Take love care. You, love you too, man. Bye.